My name's Karen Martin and welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the Playful. It's important to master your own being, your own source of happiness, or owning your perceptions and your state to experience peace and positive emotions. You can sustainably do this by globally shifting your attention to feeling or connecting to a source and appreciating the abundance that surrounds you. Other methods to shift your emotional state include being playful and creative, such as wordplay, and intentionally transforming your vocabulary and your communication styles. Physically, you can self-nurture via nutrition and eating a vitality-dense plant-based diet, also through physical exercise and effective breathing. And you can energize your spirit by meditating, praying, being still, present, mindful, and giving loving service and doing what you love. The power of play is so important. And when you enjoy what you are doing, life becomes a truly wonderful experience. Joy is a fundamental emotion for well-being. Life is designed to be enjoyed and appreciated. And this means experiencing joy, and joy comes from play. Play is important because it can also lead to growth. And this is what children do. They play and they grow. And newsflash, as adults, you can still play and grow and expand and explore and love. And approaching your work with a playful attitude means enjoying what you are doing. Being present, being curious, free thinking, imaginative and creative. Play can be any type of endeavor or self-expression that is freely enjoyed. Self-expression can produce confidence and self-esteem. Play can be activated from an alpha brainwave state. Being in a playful state of mind can promote innovation and creative ideas. One way to be playful is through wordplay, the power of using your words creatively or not using words. And there is an appreciation seeking, forward thinking way of speaking that requires awareness and practice that is very empowering. You can venture into this new word alignment with your values by only speaking about and affirming what it is that you want. There's positive phrase flipping, and it's done by consciously forming your words so that they are positive and forward reaching, including maybe not saying anything at all. And this can be matched by power words, by selecting words that are associated with positive emotions, abundance, and good feelings. The natural mental emotional response when giving or receiving negative words is an altered electromagnetic personal frequency, creating a slower vibrational frequency of energy. Whereas positive words have a higher vibrational frequency of energy and therefore induce positive emotional states and are more attractive. And then there's no words, quietening your mind to a place where no words are so calming and soothing and allow your perception to be more peaceful and observant, connecting you to things that are unified rather than separated by words. Although humans are equipped for language, animals don't have the same language processes as humans do and perhaps they experience more peace being free from overanalysis. Wordlessness can also be experienced during stillness, flow, mindfulness, and meditation. Positivity is contagious. People respond well to your inner being expressing itself positively, and your inner being responds well to positive people. And here are five keys to harmonize your thoughts and speech. One, keep your words positive and forward orientated onto what you want. Two, verbally respond gracefully, allowing acceptance and understanding. Three, practice unshakable positive self-talk. Four, use your words to encourage, compliment, and appreciate the best in others. And number five, clear your mind of mental chatter. Be mindful and peaceful, rooted in certainty and confidence. And there are many ways to create more happiness, positive energy, and well-being. You could engage in meditation. Immerse yourself in oxygen-rich environments amongst nature. Practice deep breathing, invigorating your cells with oxygen. Engage in physical activities that promote mindfulness, gratitude, and deep breathing. Immerse yourself in water, hot, cold, or neutral. Pamper and care for your body, nurturing your body. Use pleasing and natural scents such as essential oils. Eat plant-based foods that are alive and full of life force. Expose yourself to the sunshine and vitamin D for 15 minutes a day. Hydrate your body and drink two liters of water a day. Engage your connection with source through prayer. 
cultivate infinite gratitude and appreciation. See the world through eyes of love. Laugh, be joyful and playful. Engage in creativity and creative expression. Enjoy the moment, be mindful and conscious in all you do. Be in pursuit of your mission and purpose, your values that are meaningful to you. Serve and help others. Enjoy the taste of healthy foods that you love. Listen to upbeat and positive music. Be mindful of the songs that you listen to as the song lyrics can actually act like subconscious programming, affirming and programming you into new beliefs. Engage in visualization. Feel the feelings that you have already achieved the desires that you want. Be engaged in activities and hobbies that you love, that inspire you and make you come alive. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe and share this video if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next video. Lots of love and remember to live with gratitude. Check out the wonderful Whole Food Garden, the health food adult colouring in book available in the link below.